Whenever I'm at a Thai restaurant, it's always a battle of whether I should order the khao soy or the pad thai, and it usually ends up being both, but today I'm gonna to show you how I make khao soy at home. I like to remove the skin and fat from the chicken, but leave in the bone. I also like to pound out some garlic cloves, which I'm gonna use as the base of my curry sauce, along with the star of the show, which is this yellow curry paste and red curry paste. Pour in just a little bit of coconut milk and cook this on a medium heat for about five to eight minutes until the color deepens. Then add in the rest of the coconut milk, along with some curry powder, cumin, some turmeric. Pour in some water, along with some chicken bouillon, a little bit of fish sauce, soy sauce, sriracha, light brown sugar and bay leaves add the chicken thighs into the curry and cover and let this simmer for about 30 minutes on a medium heat after 30 minutes remove any foam that rises to the top and continue to simmer for another 30 to 45 minutes or until the chicken is tender instead of the fried egg noodles i'm just going to roll up some wonton wrappers that i had lying around cut them into strips and fry them until golden and crispy and that's the topping for the soup all that's left to do is boil some egg noodles and plate this up add in a couple ladles of that rich cow soy and make sure to serve this with a ton of lime juice and fresh cilantro 